Hello and welcome to my news channel here Turkey. Good to be with you. Let's start. Robots are joining the fight against coronavirus in India. In India, the country with the world's second highest number of COVID-19 cases, a handful of hospitals has started to use robots to connect patients and assist healthcare workers. Inventor Robotics has designed three robots to carry out tasks. Of the eight the company has so far deployed, the most popular model is Mitra, which means friend in Hindi and costs around $10,000. CEO of Inventor Robotics said, Mitra can be the nurse's or doctor's assistant, take readings and vitals, remind them of medications. He says the human-like robot engages with patients and gains their trust. Producing robots during the pandemic has been challenging, but this company is starting to deliver on its mission of improving patient care. Mr. Branson completes Virgin Galactic flight. The successful trip was the first in a series to the edge of space and beyond by billionaire entrepreneurs that seek to make human space flight more routine. A small rocket plane operated by Virgin Galactic, which Mr. Branson founded in 2004, carried him and five other people to the edge of space and back. More than one hour later, Mr. Branson took the stage to celebrate. The whole thing was magical, he said. They are putting their money where their mouth is, and they are putting their body where their money is, said Eric Anderson, chairman of Space Adventures Limited. This flight resembled a party for Virgin Galactic and the nascent space tourism business. Guests included Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, Michelle Grisham, the governor of New Mexico, and about 60 customers who have paid for future Virgin Galactic flights. For well over a decade, Mr. Branson, a 70-year-old British billionaire who runs a galaxy of virgin companies, has repeated to say he believed that commercial flights would soon begin. Innovative new nanotechnology will enable health electric current production inside the human body. A new nanotechnology development by an international research team, led by Tel Aviv University researchers, will make it possible to generate electric currents within the human body. The researchers explained that the development involves a new and very strong biological material, similar to collagen, which is non-toxic and causes no harm to the body's tissues. The researchers believe that this new nanotechnology has many potential applications in medicine. Professor Ehud Gazit, who is founding director of the Blavatnik Center for Drug Discovery, explains Collagen is the most prevalent protein in the human body, constituting about 30% of all of the proteins in our body. In the study, the researchers created nanometric structures of the engineered material and with the help of the advanced nanotechnology tools applied mechanical pressure on them. The experiment revealed that the material does indeed produce electric currents and voltage as a result of the pressure. Now the researchers are seeking to understand the molecular mechanisms of the engineered material with the goal of realizing its immense potential. Mass bird die-off in eastern US baffles scientists. Hundreds of young starlings, grackles and other birds in the eastern US are dying from a mysterious illness. It has the makings of avian epidemic, but to fight it, scientists first have to find the cause. So far, scientists have ruled out some of the most common culprits of bird die-offs, including salmonella and chlamydia. But the actual cause remains frustratingly elusive. The mysterious illness was first reported in Virginia, Washington, D.C. In May, we started to realize that something unusual was going on. Chelsea Jones, a spokesperson for the Animal Welfare League of Arlington, Virginia. The illness is sweeping through bird populations. But at this time, there is no evidence that this illness is transmissible to humans. However, out of an abundance of caution, officials suggest keeping pets away from sick birds. At this time, the state agencies recommend a feathered form of social distancing in areas where the illness has been reported. 
just as pathogens spread easily among humans in bars, schools and restaurants. Therefore, experts recommend taking feeders down until the mystery illness subsides. That's the news for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Follow my Instagram account and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.